Hey everyone, it's time to look back on last month and see what were your most loved products in beauty, clothing, accessories, a lifestyle, and now Amazon as well, because that encompasses a whole bunch of things. So let's dive into beauty first, and let's talk about this foundation. This is not new to you. Okay, actually, this video could go on and on and on. So I've talked about all of these products a lot during the last month. So I won't go into too much depth here. If you have any specific questions, of course, always ask me in the comments below. Number one for beauty. I think it was, it was one of my favorites. I think it's been a favorite numerous times. It's the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. Currently, I have zero fake tan going, clearly, look at me. And I'm wearing the shade Rose Ivory 15. It's fabulous, enough said about that. Next is very something I'm really excited about. It's the Profusion Smoky Eye Palette. It is $4.98. It is stunningly beautiful. I have not really explored the deeper side. Okay, these two colors. These are the only two colors I haven't really tried, the purple and the black. I can't wait for it to get a little cooler, a little more into fall. I'm really gonna pull those out. But in the meantime, loving this palette. And I also wanna mention that I'm really loving this palette, same price point, $4.98, same brand, the Mauve's palette, and hoping to add more to that. And I'm currently wearing on my eye this palette from Profusion. This is the Festival palette, and I am basically wearing um, a bunch of these shades and these two shades right here. So there are tons of neutrals on the outside and then lots of color to play with in the middle. All right, moving on, this eyebrow pencil, I love, it's the Dior. Okay, get confused because then you'll understand in a minute. This is the Dior Show Brow Styler. Some of their products say Dior Forever, some Dior Show. This is the Dior Show Brow Styler. I don't think I've ever said, I'm in the shade 001 Universal Brown. There is a blonde shade that I'm curious to try. I think this is the perfect match, but if I wanted maybe just the ultimate perfect brow, i do more of the darker shade I have now on the ends that need a little more filling in and do the lighter color in the front, but that's pretty high maintenance. So I'm gonna stick with 001. Absolutely love it. the easiest brow pencil I've ever worked with ever. Next, and you'll understand why it confuses me again from Dior. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. I'm currently wearing it in the shade One Neutral, which is great for my face. To wear it as an under eye concealer, I need a shade down. I want to pick up the 0.5 neutral. My skin tone is neutral. It does come in three options: neutral skin tone, I think rosy and yellow. So depending on your undertone or what you want to correct, go from there. Their color chart on the Nordstrom website is fabulous to kind of help you figure it out. But if you look like me currently, 1N is great for facial issues. If you look like me when I'm wearing a fake tan, then 1N is pretty good as an under eye concealer, if that helps you at all. And then the last one, I'm so excited about finding this, and thank you again to Lisa Lisa D1 for constantly recommending this to me. Just took me a while to get there. It is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This is the travel size or the mini size. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to invest in the full size because traditionally I've had issues with various primers, so I'm always a little bit picky and cautious about adding a new one into my routine, but this has not caused my skin to react negatively and it really does hold on to your makeup. Now, nothing is mask proof, but this, this is the best I've seen so far. Let's move on to clothing and in full open transparent disclosure, the real top two or three products in clothing are sold out. So I'll mention them and I can link to them so you can sign up for in stock alerts, but you can't get them. They're all from Scoop. It was the Scoop Neon Ruffle Trim Midi Dress. I love that dress. Comes in either white with a neon green trim or like a beige with a neon orange trim, gorgeous. Also, the deconstructed denim shorts from Scoop, pretty much sold out, I think in maybe one size. It's still around, hoping they bring that back as well. And then the Scoop Sandal, um, it's the stack sandal that I just adore. I think it's as of filming this, there's one size left, size nine. All of them are showing the option of signing up with an email for an in-stock alert. I hope that means there'll be restocks, but I have no insight onto that. So as far as what is still available, because I hate talking about stuff that I'm all excited about, that you could get excited about, and then it's like, too bad, you can't get it. So um, as to what you can get, this was next on the top of the list. This is the waffle knit sleeveless tee. It has a little twist on the bottom. I will say, 
I'm trying out a new color. This is more, I think this is a fall color. You gotta be pretty careful with the bra you're wearing. Um, I thought I'd wear a pretty dark nude bra actually. And um, it's still showing through a little bit. I find I don't have that issue when I'm wearing like the pink or the white, um, sometimes the gray. So just, you know, experiment with the bra that you're wearing underneath. I tried with like, even a lighter nude that was definitely showing. Maybe I'll try wearing a black bra, see what happens. But regardless, I love this. It does come in a long sleeve option as well, which I'm excited about. Hopefully in the next four months, I'll be able to wear that. Next, speaking of cooler weather, I don't know, I get to August and I just, I'm over the heat and I just cannot wait for fall. The number two option was the Levi's 721 high rise skinny jeans. And I mean, I've, I've gone on and on about them. I just love how they make my legs look and my rear end look and they feel comfortable, but they do run small. So definitely size up one. The next option, I wasn't sure whether to include this in accessories or clothing, but to be honest, when I work out at home, I don't wear an exercise top over my sports bra. Nobody's looking at me. So next on the most popular list from July was this guy. Looks a little dented, but this is the Avia uh, molded sports bra from Walmart. It comes in maybe 10 or more shades. This is obviously lilac, has the keyhole kind of back. It really gives good support by your size based on your um, band size, not your cup size. I get this in a small. These are not small, but I'm normally like a 32 to 34. Next was another bra, and it's the Soma Wireless Bralette. I got a new color. This is called Porcelain. It's sort of like a baby blush pink. I don't know if you can see that so well, but it's, it's, it's not quite white. It's a little bit more pink than white, and it's not nude. So really fun, pretty color. I love they've come out with some new colors. I think they came out with one in this color. I know they came out with a deep green. Good housekeeping rated at number one bra in America for a reason. It's fabulous. And then the last favorite of yours from clothing from July 2020 it was the Avia quilted running jacket. Comes in currently silver and black. The neon green is sold out. I knew I missed out on that. It's currently showing as $10. $10. So grab it because if you don't need it right now, you're gonna need a jacket soon and you cannot beat that price, $10, come on. All right, let's move on to accessories. And number one was this, and I, pretty much this is all I've had on my foot for the last few weeks when I leave my house. It is the Scoop Strappy Sandal, it comes in obviously silver. What I really like about it is these are quilted, so they don't cut into your, they're like smooshy. So they don't cut into your feet because my feet swell up when I get hot. And have I mentioned it's a little hot here? So these are fabulous. Next is, I know I'm talking fast, but I have so much to throw at you guys. Next is this, um, I've layered a couple necklaces, but the one we're talking about is this one right here with the little stars on it. This is the star choker necklace from Kendra Scott. I have it in the silver. It comes in gold and rose gold. I've layered it with what looks like three necklaces, two other necklaces. This is one necklace. I think this is the clove. And again, it's from Kendra Scott and comes in the gold and rose gold also, but it's a really great way to layer it up a little bit. Another favorite of yours um, from July was not the bag. Although the bag was pretty up there, but not as high up as this. This is one of the straps from the blogger collection, I think they called it, from Social Threads. This one was done with my friend Natasha. Her blog is called Hello Happiness, so I always call her Nashville Tash because her handle on Instagram is Nashville Tash. Her blog is called Hello Happiness. So this is the Hello Happiness option. As of filming, it is still on back order, so you can sign up for the in-stock alert, but I do know they are for sure restocking in early August. So you will get an alert, but if that one is not for you, there are several other bloggers that contributed. They all um, created beautiful straps and they, they're all the same price. All the straps are the same price and I really love the quality of them. I have gone looking on Amazon to see if I could find something similar at a lower price point and I did pick up one strap, but I'll be honest, it's not nearly as cute um, and as nice as the social threads. So I'm still looking, and if I find you know a great, more budget-friendly option, I will definitely let you know. But at $39, these are still pretty good compared to say the Rebecca Minkoff options are in the hundreds, so I think this is still a pretty good deal. And then the next two accessories that were favorites are 
kind of the same. They're both headbands, but from two different retailers. So the first one is this one and all of its friends that come in different prints and stuff. This is one of the ones from the sets I keep getting from Amazon. And I keep showing you the same set of printed ones, the same set of solid color ones, but I'm gonna put a link in the description box to the manufacturer, their page on Amazon, because there are dozens of headband options and they have just so many different kinds of prints and solids and materials. And so I think you'd have a lot of fun just kind of looking through that. Go check that out if you like this style of headband or if you're looking actually for a different style, like the kind that go all the way around, they have those two. The last accessory I wanna mention and was number five on your list of favorites is this headband from Time and True from Walmart. Now this is one of a collection. So there are maybe seven other options. Um, this is the only one, this like lilac -y pink with pearls, but then they have some animal prints, some stripes, some different materials, all different colors. And I honestly, I always think of Walmart for clothing, but I don't think of them as quickly for accessories. And I need to rethink that because this is just, it's beautiful. I mean, the detailing on this is, it's fabulous and it's really well made and it doesn't hurt my head. And anyway, so it's $4.98, I wanna say it's under $5. It's a very affordable option. Now on to lifestyle. And I find this category and the next category, Amazon, the most fascinating because it really tells me what y'all are into lately. And I can tell that in July, a lot of you are gearing up to send people back to school. So the number one item was the mini Keurig coffee maker probably because it was on sale. Um, normally it's about $100, it was on sale for $79.99 at Bed Bath & Beyond. That sale is over, but I did not take my own advice and buy the coffee maker when it was on sale and I needed to get one for Shane's apartment. I found it at Walmart now for $59.99. So I placed my order this morning. Um, hopefully by the time you're seeing this, it is still on sale. I'm filming a few days ahead of time. And they had more colors than Bed Bath & Beyond. And so $59.99, yay Walmart. It was popular in July. One of the reasons I do these viewer favorites is to update you if something is improved or I found something better, then I share it. So there, better deal. If you didn't get it last time, maybe it's a good thing you waited. Okay, number two was this. So it looks like a lot of you are either revamping your own kitchen supplies or you're looking to send someone off to school with their own set. This is the time, I wanna say time and true. No, time and table part of the time and table cookware set. I got the black with the gold handles, obviously in the gold speckle. I just wanted you to see how pretty that is in the light. If this color is not your thing, they have several other options, a silver with navy sort of accents. They have black with like a iridescent rainbow handles. There's a variety, they're really cute. But beyond that, they perform exceptionally well. I am so pleased with my cookware set. It actually makes cooking fun. Again, from Walmart was the lifestyle favorite number three. It is the set of herringbone baskets with leather handles. I bought these for Jake's apartment actually, and it took a lot of willpower to let him leave with them. I think they're so cute. Kind of want to get a set for my own house, but then I found, they don't, there are only a few left in stock. I found same maker. It's a like a seagrass sort of woven basket with leather handles. So. I wanted you to know about both options. I'm really exploring this brand from Walmart. It is new to me. They have really, really nice pieces in this line. If you're looking to add some things to your home decor, all very budget friendly, all from Walmart. And I think most are like two day shipping. Moving on to number four. This, again, I laugh because it was a very popular product in the early days of quarantine when everyone was scrambling to set up some sort of Zoom video conferencing thing at home. I saw it die down for a little bit, but it's back up at the top. It is the seven inch LED ring light that comes with a tripod. Clearly we are all expecting to do a lot more video conferencing in the months to come. And we are vamping up for that or ramping up for that, I should say. And that to me says why that item is popular. And then the last item, I can't like haul over here, but I will show you a picture, was the ruggable rug, specifically the print, the print, the color, I don't know, the one that I have in my family room, the Hendisi, I think it's called Jerez, Jerez. I can't pronounce it correctly, I'm sorry. I have four ruggable rugs. I have two runners that you can see behind me. I have the eight by 10 in my family room, and then I have a five by seven in my foyer. We just washed the eight by 10, and I can tell you, I don't want to say it was easy. It's definitely a two person job to put the thing back. It was a one person job to pull it up and shove it in the washing machine and dry it, but it's probably the easiest 
put back on the Velcro backing with two people. It can be done with one person, but it'll take a little bit longer, but it washed beautifully. It feels super soft. The colors are still vibrant. So very pleased with the giant version as well. All right, let's get through the Amazon favorites. These are kind of all over the place. Number one was the hanging jewelry organizer that I showed you to put um, my earring, that I used to put my earrings in. A few of you let me know that you've been using it to put some of your kids' toys in, either like the Barbie clothes and Barbie shoes, or different kinds of Lego sizes, or action figures. So you can utilize it for so many different things. It does not have to be to put in earrings and bracelets and so forth. And I love getting that feedback from you. The second most popular Amazon item in July was, where'd it go? This little guy, this is, for me, has been such a game changer. This is an Apple lightning adapter for um, AV. So there is a little hole here to put the HDMI cord in, and then there's a second hole where you can still put your charger so you can still have the device plugged in and charging while you are using it to play video on a larger screen. So I have been using this mostly to play back my faster way to fat loss workout video so I can watch it on my big family room TV while I work out there. When we took our oldest to Houston and we're about to take our youngest back to school at Ole Miss, I know that the gym at the hotel we're staying in in Ole Miss is closed and so no problem. I'm bringing this with me and because it's a road trip, I'm bringing my weights with me and I'll just do my workouts in my hotel room with this I can do that. All I need is my phone or my iPad. I love it. Apparently a lot of you do too as well. And then the third most popular item, again, looks like we're getting ready for dorm rooms. It's the Anchor Cube that has the USB ports and the regular um, outlets, and then it comes with a five foot extension cord. It is my number one most given um, graduation gift, and Jake has had his for now five years, so I can tell you they last a really long time and has lived in dorms, um, survived two years in a fraternity house and a year in an apartment. So they're pretty hardy cords and I cannot recommend them enough. And I'm so glad so many of you took my advice and picked one up for yourself. The next favorite I have an updated link for because the previous link, they're sold out, there are no more, but I found another vendor that I've ordered from that it's the same sunglasses. They are the Celine inspired. I didn't know they were Celine inspired when I bought them, but there's the Celine inspired sunglasses. They don't have as many shade options as the original vendor, but at least like five or six. They're just oversized, they're lovely, they're $14.99, you cannot go wrong with these. And then the last viewer favorite from July 2020 in the Amazon category, again telling me we're getting ready to go back to school, and by back to school I mean college, is the IKEA Fracto bags. Now. If you don't own these yet, I still don't know what you're waiting for. I will tell you, you may have waited a little too long because they come, the smallest option is a pack of two, and then it goes up to a 24 pack, which is obviously significantly more expensive than a pack of two. The problem is that the pack of two, the last time I checked, was sold out. It is still available in larger quantities, like six, 10, and so forth. So my advice to you is if you don't wanna splash out 125-ish dollars for 24 of them, or you just don't need them, Find a friend who's also sending their child away. You guys can split the cost. But even if you buy all 24, you will not regret having them. We use them for so many things besides moving the kids stuff back and forth for different holiday decorations, extra throw pillows, blankets, um, the towels for the pool, all that stuff we put in bags. You can stack them so easily. The handles are incredible. You can shoulder carry them. You can wear them like a backpack. They are incredible and Amazon will get them to you in two days, Ikea won't. So I knew I just threw a lot of products at you, hopefully with some good advice attached as well. Please, if you have any questions, if I didn't go over anything in depth enough for you, do not hesitate to ask me down in the comments below. I read everything, I try to answer every single question, and I really do appreciate that you take the time out of your day, not just to watch my videos, but to interact with me, leave me comments here, you send me DMs over on Instagram, and I treasure every single one of them. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you are all well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.